Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This reading will be who will be your next big romance? Who's coming into your life, um, Sagittarius? Who's going to be your next big romance? We're going to take a look at your energy. We're going to take a look at your person's energy. We're going to take a look at this relationship what characteristics your person has and then we're going to take a look at the connection itself and any advice so Sagittarius if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more uh, clarity on your situation if this doesn't resonate. Um, okay, Sagittarius, we have stop judging and start loving. Yeah, maybe you've been a little judgmental, Sagittarius. Maybe you've been really focusing on a person's flaws. You know? Um, I feel like you're in this mode of being pretty judgmental. Let's see. What else do we have for Sagittarius? We have... The Messenger. Just a moment, Sag. to get my glasses so I can see. Serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Okay. You know what, I feel like taking one more for you, Satch. We also have the Starkeeper, Cosmic Ancestor Seed the light by staying grounded yeah that's what I was feeling I was feeling like you know you might be in this mood with this stop judging and start loving I feel like you're trying to ground yourself you're trying to find your way Sagittarius that's the reason why is you know you have the messenger bringing harmony and balance and also the seed of light by staying grounded. I feel like you're you're trying to find your way here. You're trying to be positive. You're trying to be positive in this situation. Tell me more about what's the energy of this person? What's the energy of the person? Raise your vibration. Choose a new direction. I'm going to take one more for your person as well. Compromise. Okay. So, this person, I feel like they're trying to change their mindset. They're trying to kind of focus on what they are wanting out of life. I feel like they're trying to find a new direction. They may be going through changes. They may be just coming out of a tower moment. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Let's get some love cards. Okay, for you, we have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So, Spirit is letting you know to take it slow. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So releasing any negative energy, feeling grounded, uh, releasing yourself from the past so that you can embrace new love. That's uh, what you should focus on, Sagittarius. For your person, 
we have sacred unit union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred and we have surrender at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives let go and all will work work out so yeah you know i, I feel like you're both letting go of past energies you're both working on um finding some balanced ground you know what i mean um I feel like you both may have been hurt in the past, so you kind of have that in common, which is, you know, is something that I feel like you're both working on. Now, we, we, as far as the characteristics, we have the King of Wands. So this person is very passionate. They're very driven. This person may also be very attractive, very bold, very charismatic this person has a inner fire is what I'm feeling tell me more about this person spirit the eight of swords yeah they're gonna if this romance transpires they're taking it slow they're holding themselves back from feeling large emotions um, in the beginning, they're, they're holding themselves back. They're, they feel like they're going to be hurt. They don't want to be heartbroken. Sagittarius. The Six of Wands. But I feel like, you know, this person sees you. They recognize what you want, but they also want to be seen. They also want to be appreciated. I feel like maybe in the past this person wasn't appreciated. They wasn't uh, held up to the standard. You know what I mean? And we have the temperance. So this person is definitely healing. They're finding their balance. They're, they're really looking for happiness and harmony in their life. And they feel like they can find that with you, but they're not really sure the ace of swords yeah I feel like a lot of truths are going to come out I feel like this person wants to tell you the truth about who they are what they've been through where they feel they're going in life this person wants to communicate with you they want to get to know you better get to know the situation better before they fall deeply in love but I feel like, you know, you have the Two of Cups. So this person is only going to open up if they feel that love connection strong enough to where they feel like they can trust you. If they feel like they can trust you, Sagittarius, they will open up and they will open up their heart to love you, to love you endlessly, to make this a strong union. But I feel like it's going to take trust and it's going to take time, Sagittarius. Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords. This person is very fearful. They're very fearful. They're, they're kind of shell-shocked from past relationships. So they're in doubt that they can trust you. We have the Page of Pentacles. But I feel like they want to. I feel like you're the kind of person, Sagittarius, that is very easygoing, that is open to communicate. So I, I feel like this person wants very much to have a new beginning with you, to create something bold and something long-lasting. That's what the Page of Pentacles is. It's something that brings... new inspiration new value to life you know and i feel like that's what this person is looking for they're looking for a new perspective a new value to life we have the three of pentacles
So, with the Three of Pentacles, I really feel like this person, this person is looking for the qualities that they've been thriving for. They're looking for trust. They're looking for friendship. They're looking for appreciation. And I feel like if you have those qualities, if they see those qualities in you, um, Sagittarius, I feel like they're more open to trust. They're more open to value this relationship. Yeah, the Page of Cups. This person wants very much to open up to you. They want very much to see this situation grow, to start this new situation. Yeah, the Seven of Wands. But they're going to have their guards up for a while, Sagittarius. I feel like their guards um, will slowly, slowly come down as you communicate, as you show your true intentions, as they show their true intentions on where this love is going, where this new romance is going. Because I feel like you're both guarded, to tell the truth. I feel like you're both pretty guarded when it comes to this situation. I feel like um, the situation that you were in in the past has left you both with a kind of PTSD, you know, um, a post-traumatic stress syndrome that you're kind of weary when it comes to love. So I feel like you're both taking it slow. You're both feeling like this interaction, in order for it to last, you're going to have to set boundaries. Exactly. You're going to have to set boundaries. And I feel like as long as they are healthy boundaries, you'll both be fine in the situation. But, yes, yeah, setting boundaries is very important. <laughs> I don't care if you're attached. I want you. So... You could be coming out of a relationship or this person could be coming out of a relationship, but I feel like that's what they're saying to you. If you, I don't care if you're attached, I want you, you know, so you could be coming out of a relationship or finding a way out of a relationship. This person still wants you. This person sees value in you, Sag Sagittarius. get more information before making a decision yeah get to know each other take it slow we have all kinds of cards to let you know you know wait take it slow surrender work on healing first and they're letting you know you're safe with me they want to protect you they want to heal your heart Sagittarius um, yeah, they're in doubt. They feel like someone may be being sneaky. It doesn't necessarily have to be you, Sagittarius, but they feel like someone is sneaky in their relationship. And that may be what they were dealing with before. But they want to focus on you. They want to focus on you. They want to get to know you better. Yeah, you have, I want to see you. So you may not see this person frequently. You may live in a different city or you may live um, you may live far away from this person, you know. Um, but I feel like this person, they want to see you. They want to get to know you. They want to understand where you're coming from, Sagittarius. Tell me where this connection is going, Spirit. Tell me about this connection. Where is this connection going? Where is this connection going with this person and Sagittarius? Tell me more about this connection. The Ten of Pentacles. So, Sagittarius, this could be something very, very prosperous that brings longevity. This is something that can endure. 
something that can bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of contentment, a lot of satisfaction. But I feel like it's going to take work, Sagittarius. I feel like you both need to go through healing. You both need to, you know, conquer those demons from the past. You both need to work on yourselves so that you can work on each other, you know? Um, but I feel like this person has your back. This person wants to make you feel safe. They want to focus on you and give you attention, but they also want that same attention in return. You know, they want to be seen, they want to be heard, just like you do, you know, Sag. So, I mean, that's something to, to keep in mind, that this person really is looking for someone who will you know, genuinely appreciate them. The strength card, yes. I feel like you're both very strong. You're both very strong. You have the strength to endure. You have everything you need to focus on unconditional love. First, it takes loving yourself. That's the first step. Then you need courage to jump into a new situation. But I feel like you have everything that you need, Sagittarius. First, you need to love yourself so that you can love someone else. You can't love someone else unless you love yourself because you can't expect someone else to make you happy. You have to bring that happiness in for yourself. You have to find satisfaction for yourself. You can't depend on someone else to satisfy you or to make you happy, to bring you contentment, you know? That all comes with um, taking care of yourself, of finding that satisfaction for yourself, you know? I love you too. Okay, sad. We also have the Queen of Pentacles, definitely. With the Queen of Pentacles, we... This, this person is very resourceful. This person is very protective. I feel like they're... They're willing and able to fight for you. They're willing and able to guard you. But they need to know that they're guarded as well. You know what I mean? Um, they want to be your protector. They want to be your provider. Your, um, the person who brings you your abundance, your happiness, your satisfaction. They want to do that for you, Sagittarius. Um, this person may also want a very traditional relationship. They want to. They may want to be the provider in the relationship, and um, you stay at home, or you know what I mean. They they may want a very traditional relationship. I mean, very old traditional is what I should say um, because I know not everyone thinks that way anymore but I feel like this person really wants to use their resources to protect you to provide for you this person is a provider the four of wands Wow, Sagittarius. Wow. This, this person wants very much to create a family. They want very much to have those traditional celebrations. This may also be marriage um, that may come through very quickly, you know? 
Um, but the Four of Wands, it's very happy energy. I feel like this person and you are going to find so much happiness once you break down those barriers. Once you both let down your guards, you're both going to find so much happiness in this relationship. Yeah, you have the devil card. So once your blockages are released, then you will find happiness. But like I said, you're, you're setting boundaries. You're both very guarded. You are both, both have demons to conquer in this relationship. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be easy. At first, it's going to be a challenge. I believe that's the reason why you have the devil card. Because um, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge to get through those, those past hurts, those barriers, those guards, you know. But once you do, you're going to have so much happiness, so much contentment. And like I said, I, this, the, the Four of Wands, that's, that could be the marriage card, you know. That could be what's coming in. This could also be a Capricorn. The devil energy is Capricorn energy, Sagittarius. So the person that you're dealing with could be Capricorn energy. So what else do we have for this connection? What else do we have for this connection? We have the High Priestess. So you both should trust yourself. Trust yourself to the mysteries of the universe and let your love just grow naturally. Let this just flow, you know, take your time. Let it grow naturally and it will grow in its divine time. All of this will happen in its divine time. Just trust yourself. Trust where you're going. Trust your intuition. And follow each other's lead. You know what I mean? Um, show each other appreciation. Show each other that it's, it's safe to move forward. It's safe to talk to you. It's safe to um, let you know their hopes and dreams. You know, where they've been, what they want to do next. You know, just be open to receiving, you know, communication. And some, sometimes it's that very tough, hard hearing communication, Sagittarius. But I feel like if you're open to hearing, if you're open to listen, this person is going to really open up to you. And they're going to really show you how much they appreciate, how much they truly care. Yeah, because I, you have the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like this person really feels like... They really feel like they're in need of something that they can't have. I feel like this person has probably isolated themselves for a while. And you may have did the same thing, Sagittarius. You may have, have tried to isolate yourself. Um, but I feel like that's where this this high priestess comes in at. I mean, you you need to learn to trust yourself. You need to learn to listen to your higher spirit, to your angelic guides who are trying to deliver you answers. But to be totally honest, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like you've been having dreams, Sagittarius, and I feel like your dreams are telling you something.
Your dreams are telling you something. They're giving you some sort of answers. Or maybe someone is coming to visit. You feel like someone is coming to visit. Maybe someone from the past. It could be someone that have, has hurt you in the past. But I feel like you're reliving that in your dreams. You're going through something in your dreams. Yeah. Yeah, you have the death card. Okay. See, now, now it all makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Sagittarius. I feel like you and this person will be going through a huge transformation at the same time because you're both going through healing. You're both conquering your demons. You're both discovering how to show self-love, how to show love in general. You're both discovering so many new things that, you know, you, you are having a hard time trusting in. But also with this death card, this is a transformation. You are finding things out. You are making new discoveries. But this is also a huge a huge change. With the death card, we have endings, but we also have new beginnings. With every ending, there's also a new beginning. Always remember that, Sagittarius. Endings are just the start of new beginnings. And I feel like that's what you're realizing is that you have the possibility for a new beginning. You have this possibility, you know. The Empress. Wow. With this new change, you and this person... are going to become this power couple, you know, you're going to become this powerful union, this powerful um, creation together, because you've both been through so much pain, so much um, so many things in the past. I feel like that just makes you both stronger. That makes you both stronger. You know what I mean? That is huge. The Empress, you two may be manifesting each other because the, the, the Empress is able to manifest anything she wants out of life. You know, she is the creator. She has the ability to create, to give birth to creation, you know. This also could be that you're very fertile. This also could be that you're, you're starting a family or that, that you're definitely a single mom or a single dad, you know. But I feel like what I'm feeling with this card is that you and this person are giving birth to something beautiful, something that's going to give you new life when it comes to this relationship. You're going to have new life, new creation. This is definitely a beginning of something very beautiful, but you're going to have to go through these challenges to get there. You're going to have to break down these walls. You're going to have to you know, work on this. This is not something that's coming just easy and fast. This is going to be something that's slow moving. This is something that's going to take time. It's something that's going to have to grow. Yeah, you're going to have to compromise. You're going to have to choose this direction. There you go. and raise your vibration. Be positive. 
Yeah, I feel like that's what this person is working on. They're working on themselves. They're working on how they feel. Okay, Spirit, tell me how this love connection, tell me about this love connection. What is your energy, Sagittarius? I want to know your energy. The coffee cup. Meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So you're very uplifted. You're very, you're anticipating this situation. You're very open to it. Although you're healing, Sagittarius, you're very open to this. You want to maybe meet this person on a date. You want, you're very open to starting conversations with this person. You may want to communicate a lot with this person. That may be the thing that brings down these walls. Your communication, Sagittarius, because you're so able to listen. You're so able to receive information. So that may be the key to lowering this person's boundaries when it comes to this situation is your communication, your ability to listen, to receive, you know? This person, outdated thinking, conditioning, re replaying events over in your head. Yeah, that's the reason why I'm picking up on this person is a very traditional person, I feel. This person has outdated thinking. They may be very old fashioned. They may, you know, really think old traditional. Um, so I, I feel like, you know, that may be a challenge in itself that this person is a very traditional person. So it may be someone that you have to get used to, seriously. Um, this may be someone who, when they view marriage, they view a husband working and a wife, you know, staying at home. Um, they may view, you know, all kinds of old, outdated thinking. Um, but I feel like with this, with this card, this person also could be replaying the past events in their mind. They could be reliving their pain over and over. You know, they could be kind of replaying this like a movie in their mind. Tell me about your connection. Tell me about your connection. Tell me about your union. Paradise. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Sagittarius, we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, one oneness, and enjoying each other. So I feel like this union, this union, Sagittarius, is going to be very satisfying. It's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction. I, I feel like it's going to be a lot of new discoveries. You're going to be going through changes with each other. You're going to be lowering boundaries. You know, you're going to be breaking down walls. You're going to be, you know, discovering so many new things. So I believe like this is going to be a very beautiful situation, Sagittarius. Okay, this is what I have for you, Sag. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If this reading doesn't resonate, take a look at your moon or rising sign. That may resonate more for you. And, um, Sagittarius... I will see you on the next reading. Many blessings to you. Love and light.